Binning is an activity where you convert a numeric variable into a categorical variable. For example, you have a variable or a column called age in your data set. Right? This age is a numeric variable. You want to convert it to a categorical variable. By doing that, what it means is, say you have people between the age of 1 to 13 or 1 to 12, you call them as kids. 13 to 19, you call them as teenagers. 20 to, say, 30, you call them as working class or early working class. Something like that. You are basically converting a numeric variable into bucketed variable. Often this is used for visualization purposes or comparison purposes. And this is also a useful step when you are building machine learning models. There's a step called feature engineering where you create new features on your data. For that also binning can be used. Now in pandas there are two main functions that does binning. One is called qcut. The other one is called cut. What qcut does is say you have, you have a column and it has 100 different values. Now, if you ask pandas to do a queue cut and specify the total number of bins as 4, it will split all these 100 values equally. First, it will sort these 100 values and split these 100 values into 4 equal sized bins. Right? Each of those 4 bins will have equal number of items present in it. That is 25, 25, 25, 25. All right? That is what queue cut does. Cut, on the other hand, instead of telling pandas, okay, pandas, instead of giving me 4 equal sized bins, simply cut this variable at the points I tell you. So for that age example, right, we want pandas to cut it at say 13 years, 19 years, 30 years, 50 years and above, five different bins. You pass in the edges of your cuts to this cut function. Based on that, pandas will create your categories. Implementing it is very straightforward. We have these two functions directly available to us. Let's import pandas, use the Hungary chicken pox data set. Now the task here is, bin the Budapest variable, that is this, this particular column, this is Budapest column, bin this into four equal sized bins and call these bins as low, medium, high, very high. How do we do it? We use the cut q cut function, specify q equal to four. Let me run this. The output, instead of having the numbers, the actual numbers, it is now showing a different, different notation for that individual numbers. What this means is, what this curved bracket means, the regular bracket means is the number 149 is not included. Whereas the square bracket means this bin includes the number 479. That's what it means. There are four bins it has identified and it has named here, right? And this variable is a categorical variable. Now, instead of having numbers like this, this is difficult to read and understand, right? We want, what we want is we, we want these named labels. Instead of this label, we want it as low, printed out as low. We want this to be printed out as medium and so on. All right. You can certainly do that by specifying the labels parameter. Let's do that. So now this is looking very nice. All right. We will look at cut also. Instead of splitting it into equal size buckets, cut Budapest column in these edges. Now, when you are specifying the edges, you need to make sure all the possible cases are covered by these values of edges. All right. Let's, let's run this code and see the output. So we have the bins created. Let's assign labels to it also. Now we have the labels as well. Now, interestingly, let's see what is the frequency counts. Can you tell me how you compute the frequency counts? You can use the value counts. Value counts method. Let's run this. So for bin four, it gets the highest number of values, whereas bin one gets just 41. Clearly they are not equally divided. Hope that is clear. Now, the challenge for this video is on Hungary chicken box data set, bin all the columns into four equal sized bins. So we have the data set here, import it, then bin all these columns in your data set into four equal sized bins. That basically means you are going to convert all these numeric columns to categorical columns, each column containing four equal sized categories. So here's the solution for it. So this is giving us an error because when computing the edges using Q cut, right, this internally computes the edges that will split the columns into equal sized bins. When computing that, it is finding that there are duplicates amongst the edges. For example, in this one, there is a duplicate of zero occurring more times because there are so many zero values in that particular column. So to avoid that, what you can do is you need to additionally specify duplicates equal to drop. By doing this, it will automatically take care of that problem. Now, this is not guaranteed to give you four equal sized bins 
on all the columns what it will give you is whatever it is able to manage it will give you that many bins for certain columns where it is not able to manage so far so good i hope all the topics that we have discussed so far about pandas is very clear if something is not clear please go back and rewatch those videos because we are going to get more new features more interesting features about pandas being discussed in the upcoming videos